Hey what's up guys this is Sandeep Sky and in this video I'm going to show you how to dual boot Ubuntu 21.10 and Windows 10 so let's get started. Open your web browser and search for Ubuntu 21.10 download and click on the first link to download the Ubuntu ISO file. After downloading Ubuntu, you need to download Rufus to make bootable USB Ubuntu pen drive. After that, you need to insert pen drive, which is at least 8 GB or more. And also, please make a backup of your pen drive because all the data will be lost. Now open Rufus and select the Ubuntu ISO file which we just downloaded and click on start. After this process is completed, you need to close Rufus and right click on the start menu and click on disk management. Now right click on any of your local disk and select shrink volume and then enter the amount of size you want to give it to the Ubuntu partition. Now you need to reboot your system and boot from the USB pen drive. While your computer is starting, press the boot menu key which is either escape or F12. Select USB or generic flash disk from the options. It is always recommended to select try Ubuntu before installing. Select your keyboard layout and your language. Click on normal installation if you want office suite and other media players but I am going for a minimal install and also don't forget to check the install third party media codecs. Here you need to choose something else. Click on the free space which we just created earlier and click on this plus icon. Leave everything as it is and select mount point as root which is forward slash. If you are installing it on a MBR slash legacy system then you can just click install now but if you are installing it on a GPT slash UEFI system then you need to select device bootloader installation in Windows Boot Manager. Select your time zone.
After the installation is complete, you need to click restart now. Now it is asking us to remove our pen drive and press enter, just do as it says. Now when you start your computer you will see a crop menu to choose between the operating systems. There you go guys, we have successfully installed Ubuntu 21.10. Now let us try to boot into our Windows system. Choose the Windows Boot Manager option from the menu to boot into Windows 10. So that's it for the video guys, thank you for watching and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more future contents, bye bye.